G'day and welcome and this is the second in the series of uh, videos I'm making to answer some questions provided to me by a subscriber. So this is for you Danashan, number two. I know it's one you asked me not to do ultimately because you know how to do it but I'm going to uh, discuss it anyway. It's another trigonometric identity and here it is. We've got, I'll show it down here, we've got to show that one plus sine theta all divided by cosine of theta plus cosine of theta over 1 plus sine theta so it's, an, it's a fraction plus it's reciprocal is going to be 2 sec theta now again as I did in the last video I'm going to start by writing a summary of the four identities that we need to remember. We may use tan theta is sine theta and cos theta, or any of the three trigonometric identities. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals 1. Tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared theta. And 1 plus cot squared theta equals, again, cosec squared theta. Uh, depends on where you are in the world, whether you write it this way or just CSC for cosec. Really doesn't matter. Um, and being identities, we should really write that, and we are in fact writing this identity. An identity, of course, means that this is true for every possible value of theta. We're not just solving to find a particular value that makes it work, as we would in an equation. So this is what we've got to solve. And normally, as I expressed in the last video, we try to simplify. Simplifying is something mathematicians work hard at. We do not try to complexify, uh, if you like. So we look for the most complicated side of the equation, which, or the identity, which is obviously this one. And that means we would prefer to start here and demonstrate that this is true. We can simplify this to make that. So let's write it up. 1 plus sine theta over cosine of theta plus cos theta on 1 plus sine theta. And we really should have said left-hand side is equal to or is identical to. Now, again, we have two terms. We've got two terms that ultimately have to make one. And the only way to do that is if somehow this can actually be added or subtracted to that genuinely. Or to force it by making these denominators the same because they're two fractions, the only way we can add two fractions is to have the same denominator. Now, we are talking about these identities. Is there an identity that could possibly match these? Well, looking up here, certainly not this or this, but this one. Sorry. We could conceivably use that. And I also notice this is a rather complicated denominator. It's made up of two terms, 1 and sine theta. How can we combine them into 1? Well, the answer is that we multiply by the conjugate. You might recall from rationalising denominators and things like that, that if I take this second fraction and multiply the top and the bottom by 1 minus sine theta, that will give me an expression. I hope you've worked it out already, but it will give me an expression that will you be able to use this identity. This one here, uh, well, 
I know what to do, but let's leave, let's leave it for one line. We'll discuss that. So let's leave 1 plus sine theta over cos theta. I'm going to leave a little bit of room for what you'll see why in a moment. And what do we have on the bottom here? Well, we have something like a plus b times a minus b. It's a difference between squares. So we have 1 squared, 1 minus sine squared. Now you might not think that's a great improvement at the moment. We'll talk about that in a moment. What do we have on the top? Well, we have cos theta times 1 minus sine theta. That's often the case when we try to improve the denominator, the numerator gets worse. But we'll see what happens. This is what I'm particularly interested in at the moment because it was actually one of the worst parts of my problem, that particularly ugly denominator. But notice, in this identity, if I subtract sine squared theta, I get 1 minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta. So I can replace this, 1 minus sine squared theta with cos squared theta. Let's do that. I'll leave the top alone. Not going to rush these things. We'll deal with one issue at a moment. The issue at the moment is getting the denominators the same. How do I make that into a cos squared theta? Well, that is easy, isn't it? I can multiply by cos theta over cos theta. And I get cos squared theta on the bottom. And I get cos theta times 1 plus sine theta on the top. And I've now succeeded, because I had two separate fractions, I've now succeeded in getting the same denominator. And it took a little bit of insight to see how these were connected through this particular identity. Now, we can just put it all together. So everything over cos squared theta. And let's expand. Cos theta times this, cos theta times 1 is cos theta. Cos theta times sine theta. I'll put the sine first. Sine theta cos theta. Then here we're adding, so we've got a plus cos theta times 1. And we've got a positive cos theta times a negative sine theta. So it's going to be negative sine theta cos theta. Things get worse before they get better sometimes. That's a very, very large fraction, but it is one thing, and we're after one thing. So, we, believe it or not, we've actually improved the matter. Look at the top. We actually have two terms that are exact opposites. So, they add to zero, and they leave cos theta plus cos theta is 2 cos theta over our cos squared theta. We divide a cos theta out. And of course, I think I'm getting very close to the bottom of the board, so I'll actually head across the, the board. 1 over cos theta is sec theta. And look at that. And that's the right-hand side of our equation. And you can finish if you want to sort of look a bit clever. Quod erit demonstrandum in Latin. Uh, what we were to prove or demonstrate. So there you go. We were supposed to show that the left-hand side matched the right-hand side, and that's exactly what we've demonstrated. I hope that's helped. It may not be the way that you solved it, Donishan, but I hope this insight has helped you understand how I look at uh, simplifying trigonometric expressions and proving uh, identities. That's um, it was an interesting one, that one. But it certainly pays to know these four identities very, very well indeed. Again, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, so you'll find out more of these. You'll learn about the videos when they appear. And uh, I would appreciate your comments, and I'd also appreciate it if you click the like button. Thank you for watching.